Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Hafiz Fadila and I am a college student from UIN Sharif Hidayatullah, Jakarta, majoring in English Education Department. Today, in this video, I'm going to review a novel. The title of this novel is The Yablo, Legacy of Blood. Uh, written by Richard A. Knack, and the book published by Pocket Books. Uh, there are 352 pages total in this novel, and the genre of this book is an adventure. This novel Diablo I know because it's an MMORPG game by Blizzard Company. And I accidentally find this book interesting and I want to review this novel. And here we go. Uh, this novel tells a story about Norek Fizaran. Uh, he is a mercenary uh, along with his friends Sadun and Faustin. They have a mission which is to find magical treasure in a dungeon. When they found their mission, there was the ancient armor of Bartuk, the legendary warlord of blood. But suddenly, a trap appeared. There came a horde of undead. Norak accidentally held the ancient armor, which turned out to be cursed, and the power of the armor possessed Norak. The ancient armor took him to various places. Norak's body was fully controlled by the suit. On the other side, there is Kara. Kara, uh, she is a necromancer. She has just escaped. She was sent by Captain German. Uh, he is a king shield to check the dungeons for interference from Norak and his companion. She knows about the armor and is trying to maintain balance, which will be greatly offset by her return. Her role here in this book is to find Norak because he is very dangerous, and with the power he had, he was able to know Norak's whereabouts. And Norak headed to and Norak headed to loot God Lane where the helmet of the armor was. The helmet was in the hands of Augustus. Uh, he lived in Loot Lane and his main Galeona. They also realized that the armor had risen and they were also looking for the armor's whereabouts. On his journey, <clears throat> on his journey, Norek met Captain Casco. He boarded a ship to go to Good Golain. During the trip, every time Norek slept, he felt he he felt this dream, like he could read what he would do in the future, and this made Captain Casco uncomfortable. Because every time Norek slept, he was like a restless person. Arriving at Lutgolin, Norek accidentally met Galeona. Here, Norek asked, Who are you? Uh, then Galeona replied, Only a few wanderers, no one who means you harm. It was dark and Norek felt recognize this woman. I think I know you. Can I see your face more? Then when Galeona showed her face, she was scared that Norek knew, knew about her. But, uh, but then Norek said to her, I do know you, your face. I dreamed of you. Knowing Norek was unconscious, 
he immediately manipulated him and met Norek, felt that he really wasn't the one looking for him. Uh, as they headed upstairs, they heard that there was a commotion upstairs, but Galeona said it was the Sultan's birthday celebration, and Norek foolishly believed her. When Kara arrived at Lutgolin, she sought out Horizon to help her find Norek. She was a witch too. Uh, uh, she was a witch, the Horizon, uh, who knew about this armor. They searched for Norek using the crystal ball. After finding Norek, it turned out that Norek was in an was in danger. He was already in the Augustus circle. He asked Horizon to help, but she refused. Uh, in the end, Kara tried to go alone, while at Augustus castle, she met with Augustus and Cezax. Augustus said that if someone can use the armor, it means he has blood from the warlord of blood jinn. And this is where there was a conflict between Augustus, who wanted the armor, and Norek, who did not want to give it. That's also when Kara arrived suddenly to help. Augustus then uh, died at Norek's hands and he returned to his armorless self. And I think that's it for my novel review. I hope you enjoy and don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye!